So for each of these pro player hacks that we're going to look at, I'll be telling you which players are using them and I'll be explaining the hacks. I'll then give you a rating as to how effective the hacks are. Now you can see this first one is to do with Mario Cardi, plays at PSG, he wears the Nike Phantom Venoms. Now he obviously had some kind of issue with the boot because he's decided to go ahead, get the scissors out and cut off the lace cover on here. But how good of an idea of this? Not too sure. Um, so one of the things is it's going to hold the tension between the two sides of the boot. Also, you're going to expose the laces, which I think is what Cardi is trying to do. Here you can see a pro player has actually gone ahead and asked Toots Boots to do it for them. So pro players are doing this hack. Cardi's done it and it will expose those laces. But personally, because you're going to expose those flywire cables that are holding the laces in as well, and you're not going to have that same tension, I just think it's a bit of a bad idea, even though Cardi likes it. So the next hack we're going to look at is used by a whole bunch of clubs. It is the Cleats Pro Boot Steamer. So this is a device that has been made and that clubs have bought and it's for putting pro player boots in and it steams them to soften them. It softens them up and it's really good for players with wide feet. It's a really great hack. A whole bunch of teams across Premier League, MLS, Europe use it. Now. The next hat we're going to look at is used by a whole bunch of players. You've got Hazard, Shakiri, Tony Cruz, all sorts of players. Now, you might be able to tell from this what is happening. As you can see, smaller shin pad. So this hack is to wear considerably smaller shin pads. So Thomas Muller was really kind of known for doing this. Um, but why would you do it? I think players don't like wearing shin pads. And so they'll wear the smallest ones they can get away with, like a junior one. But the problem is it's going to leave your foot a bit more exposed to injuries. We don't really think it's a great idea. Some players kind of try and avoid the tackles. But if you can, wear shin pads. This next hack, a few players do it. But one of the biggest players known for it is Marco Royce, Borussia Dortmund. He's done it for Germany as well. And if you can tell from these pictures, he's taken the laces out of his Puma Futures. So he's done it with quite a few different Puma Futures. But the thing with this is, these boots aren't really designed for that. They're designed for doing customizing lacing in all sorts of different ways. But I think you can only really get away with it if you've got wide feet. But also consider that the brand potentially is doing a custom boot for him. In this video, you see a lot of players who are wearing customized boots. So he might have some extra stuff that's giving him better lockdown that you're not seeing because it's inside the boot. And some of the pictures we'll be showing in this video of stuff inside boots, and you'll be able to see a bit more what's going on. Right, this next hack we're looking at is kind of connected to that boot steamer. It's a way of softening up your brand new boots. So you can see a brand new pair of Furons here, cutting the tags off, you're gonna take out the cardboard, completely brand new, but this is something you can do at home. So the concept is you fill the bath up, you put your socks on, you put your boots on, and then you soak them in the bath. Now, it doesn't want to be too hot. You're not going to be able to make it that hot because you're going to be in it. So you're going to know what you're doing. And you wear your boots in the bath for about 15, 20 minutes. And they're just going to soften up really nice. Then you can go out and play with them just for a little bit to get them going. And just they'll shape around your foot as they um, dry and um, cool down as well. Now, once you've done that, you want to make sure you put a whole bunch of... Um, paper in them, newspaper, whatever, to help them dry out properly afterwards. Because as you can see, there is going to be a lot of water in there and you want to get all that moisture out before you wear them. All right, we're looking at another pro hack here. Few players doing this. In fact, there's loads more players doing this. BC Boots UK helped us out with um, some injury of Ross Barkley's boots. As you can see what's happened here, this is a pair of firm ground boots. But quite often, players want to customize their boots and change the sole plate and convert those firm ground boots into soft ground ones. So what you can do is you can cut off that plastic stud tip, you drill a hole, you insert inside the inside of the boot um, the clasp that attaches in the thread to the uh, SG stud and then you put that in so it goes through. And it's actually a really great idea if you've got some boots that don't come in soft ground. If you can get the boots that you want in soft ground then go ahead and do it. Here's some pictures of Toots boots having done some customizations. Often happens on the special editions because they don't come in soft ground and players want to be able to get those boots and use them on pitch. A whole bunch of boots you can see there are ones that you just couldn't get in soft ground so they made them for them. Right this hack another interesting one really made famous by Memphis Depay you can see in that picture Jack Green you can see in this picture as well perhaps you guys are noticing that the difference in this one is they are wearing really short socks can't really get my head around this one it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense 
Perhaps it's about players feeling restriction around the calves. Now, one thing they're going to have to do is if you're wearing short socks, you're going to have to go and wear the small shin pads. Already we said it wasn't the greatest idea. Perhaps players can avoid those injuries and maybe they feel like they're getting kind of kicked only in that area and it's not a above or below the ankle above or below the shin pad so they think they can get away with it but personally just don't think it's a very good idea i found it quite uncomfortable to wear that short shin pad in that sock it was just kind of almost felt like it was digging into me all right the next hack we are looking at is an interesting one so it is inside this box and we are talking about carbon fiber now you're going to run faster you're going to jump higher these are the victory performance inner soles now they're popular in nfl basketball but now they're soccer specific as well the idea of these is you can jump higher run faster it's the first ever sports insole designed to return the energy an athlete generates as an explosive power gives you speed agility so they take into account athlete weight, foot size, and um, what sport they're playing, use an algorithm to work out how much force can be exerted, and they'll then send you a specific um, insole that will match you. Now I showed you John Stones there because he likes to wear carbon fiber inside his boots, and some uh, boots in the past have had carbon fiber sole plates as well, but this is slightly different. It's actually putting a carbon fiber inner sole in it. You're getting no benefits from your standard inner sole, but these are all about making you faster and more explosive and being able to jump higher as well, which is great for headers. Now, this one is a bit of a homemade hack again, but it is trying to work on that boot steamer that we saw earlier on. So this is the DIY boot steamer. You're gonna take a bucket, and you want to put it over these in the bath and the concept is, is you're going to steam those boots for 20 to 30 minutes you've got your hot water there and it's rising up and it's going to be held in the bucket and you want it to steam those boots for 20 minutes half an hour or whatever and then once you take them out you're going to wait for them you can put them on feet and then let them cool down afterwards it's pretty much the boots in the bath trick but you don't actually have to get in the bath wearing your socks and your boots you're also not going to soak them as much although be careful that they don't fall over like this then they're going to get wet anyway but the concept is is that you're not actually putting them and soaking them in the water you're just steaming them so it's a little bit better and more similar to that cleat pro boot steamer um, but it's just not quite as effective as a professional version of course all right this next hack made popular by Jack Grealish and what we got here is an old pair of hypervenoms as you can see they're kind of falling apart a little bit would you consider wearing these in a game that Nike skin was obviously known for coming off the hypervenom ones um, would you wear these in a game well the thing is Jack Grealish went ahead and wore boots in a game very much like this boots that were completely falling apart he wore them in the playoff final at the end of last season he was wearing these hypervenoms that's what they're supposed to look like he saw the images and you can see what they did look like for him the reason he wore them is because they were his lucky boots he'd scored goals in them he got assists in them and he just didn't, felt like he had to wear them in the playoffs but it's not a good idea you got soul separation just wear some new boots um, a lot of superstitions around Jack Grealish he's really got some interesting ideas all right, this next hack is one that was made famous by Cristiano Ronaldo. Perhaps the first ever boot hack that we've ever really kind of experienced. Um, so he was well known for the hot water trick. And he really started doing it when he was wearing the kind of superflies, um, when they were kind of a more plasticky boot than they are nowadays. So it doesn't have the fly knit. A bit more of a plasticky feeling boot and it really needed to be broken in. You use the hot water on them to soften that upper and then they could just be worn a lot quicker. And in fact, it really worked really well. As long as you weren't getting them too, too hot, then it was something that was really good at softening the boots up and being worn. Nowadays, players don't use it so much. You do have those professional cleat steamers, as we talked about, so you can use those instead. And obviously, the materials of boots nowadays just don't require to be softened up as much because out of the box, they are a lot softer. But if you have a problem with boots feeling a bit stiff for you when you buy them, then you can definitely consider the hot water trick and then wear them and break them in a little bit and it just will speed up the process. You don't want to go too hot, otherwise it will um, damage the boots. You don't want to melt the plastics and then dry them out properly afterwards using some newspaper just to extract that moisture out. As we say, um, moisture is the enemy of football boots. You want to get it out as quick as possible once you've done these hacks. All right, so this next hack, we are again looking at shin pads. This time we have got the Carbon Athletic here and shin pads, carbon fiber shin pads very pop popular with pro players so these shin pads themselves the carbon athletics are worn by Danny Alves Santi Corzola uh, Thiago Silva massively popular and why would you wear these well if we get these ones out of the bag and we're gonna throw them 
on the scale that we have here will show you that this um, large size adult uh, shin pad comes in at about 25 grams. All right. You then take a standard plastic shin pad and you're looking at 60 grams. So that's quite a big difference. It means that when you actually wear the shin pad, you're not going to feel it as much. So those players who are wearing um, the smaller shin pads, they might actually get away with going and switching to carbon fiber and they'll actually prefer those. Now the carbon fiber is really strong as well. So this is a great option. It's going to protect your shins um, from the impacts. In fact, the carbon fiber is going to be stronger than the plastic. All right, this hack, Something that we've seen Casimus Michael do recently, as you can see in this box, we've got a pair of the Totti Tiempos. But the thing to notice about this is Totti used to love the tongue elastic. He would add it to boots that were given to him if it didn't already have it on it. He loved a tongue on his boots. The old school manias obviously came with the tongue as well. But some of the re-releases that we've seen recently have come without a tongue elastic on them. So Casimus Michael went ahead and he got the tongue elastic added by Toots Boots. Uh, thanks for Top TI Interactive for the picture of him in action. And you can see here Tom, he added the elastic to his accelerators he got because they didn't come with it either. It's an excellent hack for getting out the way. Now, this is an interesting one. It's called the runner's loop. And if you have problems with your boots kind of moving around a little bit too much, you're getting a bit of heel slippage or you're getting blisters on your heel, then you can go ahead and you can lace them like this. So you go straight up to the top and then you make that loop. Then you go through the loop and thread it through like that. So when you put it on foot, it's gonna lock you in just that little bit more. Now Messi was actually known for adding an extra hole in his boots to try and do something similar, to get that really good lock in with the boots. It's an okay hack. Um, it just depends what, most of the time people don't need to do it because the way boots lace up is good enough anyway. But if you really feel like you need that extra lock in, then go ahead and give it a try, see what you think. All right, so plenty of big name players, Neymar, Bardi, Griezmann, Ali, Suarez do this. You probably do this as well. If you haven't done it already, then I definitely recommend giving it a go. It is grip socks. Stops your feet moving around in the boots. There's so many brands out there. You've got Attack, you've got Tape, Tape M Designs, you've got True Socks, which are the originals. They've got the grips on the inside and the outside. Suarez in action with those. Ali at the World Cup wearing those. You've got the Socks Pro version as well. A lot of players in Italy are wearing these. We really like the Tape M Design ones. They just seem to be quite soft and um, really excellent. Anyway, the hack is fantastic. I definitely suggest you go ahead and give that a go. Um, so you don't want your feet to slip around in your boots. And one of the reasons that you don't want that to happen is because you um, can get blisters. Another thing you can go ahead and do is instead of uh, wearing those, you could actually wear two pairs of socks. So Jerome Boateng was well known before kind of um, non-slip grip socks came out. He would wear two pairs of socks. Now you can wear your sock over the top as you can see here, or you could actually wear two pairs of socks. By wearing two socks, friction doesn't occur in the boot and it just means less blisters. And you can also get away wearing a half size larger if you want to. All right, so Coutinho, Mats Hummels were well known for this hack and it is cutting holes in your boots. So uh, Mats Hummels did it because he had blisters on his toes. We've seen a few players cutting big holes out the back of their boots. It's interesting, we gave it a go in um, a previous video where we made a hole in the boots just to see what it was like. It does make the back of the boot considerably less strong. Obviously, it's going to take the pressure off at the back. Now, we understand Coutinho did it because he has a Haglund's deformity, which is a bony enlargement on the back of the heel. So if you have that, this could be fantastic for you. But for everybody else, it just doesn't make any sense at all. In fact, it's interesting that Coutinho now gets custom-made boots Thanks to BC Boots UK for showing us these. See how soft the heel is on his boots? So that's why he's not cutting holes anymore is because he's not feeling the pain at the back because he's got his own custom soft boots. Interesting, eh? But overall, we think this is a very bad idea unless you are one of those one in a thousand people who actually have the Haglund's deformity or something like that. And it's really good for pro players. Otherwise, you're going to ruin your boots. And you don't want to do that. All right, this hack, we're looking at Neymar, Sancho, Walker, Danny Rose. They've done it. It was something that got really popular at the 2018 World Cup because a whole bunch of players were doing it. It's perhaps connected to socks getting a little bit tighter and players feeling like they were cramping up near the end of games. So the concept here is to release the pressure around the calves. You can see that sometimes for players it gets tighter in this area. Get out a pair of scissors, mark up, mark up where you want to make the holes. Then get the scissors and just start cutting little holes in your socks. You'll have seen the images. It looks very interesting on pitch. And I think this is why some of those players are wearing the short socks because then you don't have to worry about that pressure in this area. So this is kind of an alternative. I also think that since then, 
uh, brands have kind of listened to players and made some of their socks not as tight in the calf area to relieve that pressure. Is obviously, um, you can see here, the holes cut in the socks. He was interesting, Tuba Grips on that one. It's interesting to see what players have underneath their socks. They're still wearing stuff as well. Neymar was well known for doing this at the World Cup. A lot of pictures of him falling over having seen it. This is what it looks like after we've put the holes in. And to be honest, it actually felt quite good. Uh, I think if you do feel really tight calves, then it's not that bad of an idea. Obviously, you're going to ruin your socks, but people are going to wonder what you're doing. But actually, it did feel good. All right, this hack we're looking at is Vaseline or kind of an anti-chafe balm. So what you do is if you know you've got new boots and you're wearing them for the first time, you want to break them in, is make sure you put Vaseline in those areas where you perhaps tend to get blisters or the anti-chafe balm. And what's going to happen is it's going to mean less friction when you're wearing these. It's a fantastic hack. Give it a go. See what you think. Guys, let us know in the comments what hacks you've tried, what you thought of this video, any hacks you want us to try in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Go enjoy your football.